tour alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the famed Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey, where so many great fights have gone on through the years for a much-anticipated main event. Ten rounds of heavyweight action, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Liston's had this experience so many times, and success has always come on the back end of these ring walks. It's his focus at this moment that delivers it. Eddie Chambers is not throwing any fuel onto the fire for his opponent. He's just making his way down to the ring in a way in which he's checking that time card, ready to punch in and get to work. Across the ring, his, his professional, professional record consists of 35 wins, 18 knockouts, and only two losses. Heading out of Philadelphia, Fast A. Chambers! All right, gentlemen, protect yourselves at all times. Let's touch them up. Scheduled for 10 rounds tonight between these two. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Eddie Chambers' advantage is in the speed category. He's a mover. He's an elusive target. Well, his opponent has one advantage. One thing that can take that speed away, that is timing. He better understand that. Liston's left, working well that time. Blocks the headshot. Comes right back with some offense of his own. That is a sharp uppercut by Eddie Chambers. And that's what fighters do. Pulls the trigger right away after taking one. Halfway through round number one. A fight. He fires back a right hand of his own. Took a shot. Now he gives a left. Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. Nice block that time. It was intended to the head. Liston scoring with that right hand. When he lands that jab and that straight punch, Sonny Liston is a real dangerous fighter. That jab alone can knock you down coming from Liston. Final 10 seconds of round number one. A headshot blocked. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. As we come to the end of the round, Joe and Teddy with you ringside. Teddy, that's one of those rounds where I wonder what were the judges looking for because it's tough to kind of draw a line between those two fighters. Yeah, very close, but one of those rounds where you could steal it. You did a little bit more in those last 30, 20 seconds. Maybe that's the impression the judges are left with. Good right hand. Took a shot, now he gives a left. A flush hook scores well for him. And he returns on that exchange. Eddie Chambers has got a bad cut now that's opened up on his cheek. Way through round number two. 
He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. You know, boxing is a global sport. I think sometimes in North America, we lose touch of that. But boxing is such a global sport, and every little region of the country defines its fighters differently, and the fighters are defined by where they come from. Yeah, it really is. You know, sometimes if a fighter is from maybe a place where there's not many resources, then you're going to get a fighter who's a little cruder, and he's going to have to be more physical because... You know, he doesn't have the apparatuses in the gym where, you know, he can hit a double end ball or, you know, he can be inclined to be a little bit more technical. And I think that you're influenced by those kind of things, by the lackings of certain benefits in somebody's background or preparation. Sonny Liston's got to feel good about himself after that last round. He really damaged his opponent. Number three is underway. Hey, you got some of that too. Let's go. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Eddie Chambers. Get out of the way from those punches. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. It's working the body. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Liston's way off the mark. That punch didn't have a chance. It's doing what you do. Coming to the halfway point of this third round. Accurate jab brings the right hand. Not much action as he just ties up. You're not focusing. Denny, he did a smart thing right there. Just created enough space and then landed the counter punch. Looked like the will of the whips. The old great Willie Pep. Made him miss, made him pay. Relax, relax. And now he scores well with a straight right. Wow, is he defensively sound. Liston's right hand scores well that time. Good fighting, snapping shot by Eddie Chambers. Liston's just punching air that time. His opponent was able to get out of the way. There's a good right hand. And we come to the end of the round. Don't get too close. Don't get too close, all right? We need you to move. Just keep moving. You hit him really good in that round. A couple of times. Really good. Sonny Liston's enjoying a lead on Teddy's scorecard the first time we look at the scores ringside here tonight. Although, early on here, it's not as if either man is in complete control of this fight. Very nice defensive guard there. Eddie Chambers is not firing off the big power punches. I got to wonder why. Sometimes a guy is making a solid agreement in his mind that maybe if I don't hit him hard, he won't hit me hard back. He's not confident enough now to throw the punches without worrying about what to come back at him. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Liston's jab lands well. 90 seconds to go in round number four. Focus! Oh, you got this one. Double up on your punches. Well placed, straight right hand. Well placed, well timed combo up top. Keep it going. 
Sonny Liston's right hand did a nice job that time. That worked well for him. Good left there. Very nice work to the head. The right hand landed. Liston showing us a real, real solid skill set here with his head movement. Teddy, how much of that is just natural athletic ability and instincts, and how much of that is being trained well? Well, most of it's trained well. If I take a guy off the street, Joe, and he hasn't been taught anything, he's going to throw punches. But usually he's not going to have a good defense. That's something that has to be attained. That's something that has to be taught. This guy has been taught good defensive fundamentals. Just not there, straight right hand off the mark. He's tied, he's tied. He clinches when he gets to the inside. That's a flush shot, banking away those body shots with the left hand. Great right was lined up, but he missed. Still plenty of time to work here in round number five. A minute and a half to go. Eddie Chambers blocks it away. Way to block there. Gets rid of that. It was intended for his head. Good one-two by Eddie Chambers. Sonny Liston's missing the mark by a mile. That just was nowhere to be found. And this round comes to an end. In between rounds here, Eddie Chambers' eye is completely swollen shut. What would you be telling him? Well, this is going to sound a little tiny harsh, but guess what? This is a tough business. I tell him, you have two eyes, right? Use the good one. Here we are, the start of another round, and if everything goes according to the way the first half of this fight went, he's going to be coasting in for an easy win. Well, if his opponent goes along with it, he definitely will, but maybe he had changed the script a little, flipped the script a bit. Eddie Chambers is in a good rhythm defensively here. Teddy, what is that, a credit to his ability to anticipate? You know, also, it's the teaching. Let's give the trainers credit. Of course, let's give his background of the amateurs credit, but he learned how to get away from punches. This is technique that was taught to him. Left hand came after the jab. Accurate shot, straight right hand comes in. That hook was well off the mark. Eddie Chambers is the kind of boxer that wants to do just that. Find the target, get the combination working, land both punches. Halfway through round six. That's classic work with the double jab. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. Eddie Chambers is fighting real smart here on the outside. Eddie Chambers, his defense did a good job there, able to avoid that punch. Uppercut! Protecting his head well with his guard. 
Working our way towards the bell. Last 10 seconds of the sixth. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. Where's your body? Hit the body. Good action here tonight. Both guys bringing their best, and both guys meeting each other stride for stride, punch for punch. Tough fight to score here as we're back underway. Needs to improve that accuracy, missed with the headshot. Liston's putting forth a game plan of being a volume puncher, but Teddy, he's not landing a lot of these punches. What kind of effect can that have on this fight? Well, he can get frustrated a little bit, and hey, he might not win the fight. He can have that kind of effect. Is that effective enough? A barrage of punches that time. Good combination. Yeah, that's what you want. You don't want one at a time. You want three or four. Double up your jab. Let's see some more head At the halfway point of round seven. Up top with a quick hook. Nicely timed, one, two. Liston's punch is far off the target. Big uppercut right on the mark. And just grabbing on to his opponent. Ten seconds to go in the seventh. Able to get away from that headshot with the block. And that's the end of round seven. You have to, you have to be busy. This, this guy is beating the shit out of you. You have to throw three or four punches in a row. You can turn this around, but you gotta let it go. It's over. Start of round eight, Teddy's scorecard. Well, slight lead here, but I'll say this. He may be up on your scorecards, but his opponent knows how to land a punch against him. Yeah, he's found the home for that right hand. He notices that he brings that left hand back slow, so the right hand beats him to the mark. Scores well to the head with the right hand. Now he's targeting upstairs. Eddie Chambers has done a really nice job of being able to land that back power hand. He's coming in with that straight punch and really scoring well. Yeah, well, he's getting a little bit of help because his opponent keeps leading with hooks in front. The old times we always say don't lead with a hook from too far in front because the straight punch will find its way inside it. Liston's showing you that sublime skill right now with that two-punch combo. The halfway point of round number eight. Punch! Punch! What? What? I like that step back right there. Just enough to be out of danger, but still close enough to then land the counterpunch. Well, that's what happens when you have that kind of experience. You're calm enough to know that range. Know where the beginning of the punch and the end of the punch is. Well, that was his intention, and that's what he's doing. Not engaging in the fight, but clinching. Oh, and he's got something for him himself, and it's a left hand. Clock counting down here in round number eight. Ten seconds to go. And that's the end of round eight.
Eddie Chambers, well, he's back in the corner, which is critical in terms of trying to stop the bleeding on that cut. But it's also critical because they need to put forth a new defensive game plan. Yeah, they have to make sure that they buy some time here and start moving their head, using their legs, tying up a little bit, doing anything to kill the clock and not get caught on that cut anymore. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the... He gets to him with an uppercut. Oh, man, he's in rough shape after absorbing that blow. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. And Sonny Liston, so strong on his feet. He will fight on here after being damaged. There's no need to be on the inside. Keep moving, keep moving. Hey, you nice jab there by Let's Eddie go. Chambers. <laughs> Liston's got a little something coming back at him. A counter punch scored. Right to the head with that right. Halfway through the ninth round. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Eddie Chambers is proving to be elusive. Finish with Tom. Sonny Liston's combination punching is working well here. Fast Eddie with a good block. Finish with the hook. Engages in the clinch. <laughs> no, he missed that right. How about a return to center with the left hand? <laughs> Final chance, last 10 seconds of round nine. And that's the end of round nine. Eddie Chambers' corner has quite a task in front of them now. Their fighter's eye swollen shut. Right now, you have to come up with some strategy. Maybe he turns his stance around, where he leads now with the good eye. You know, right now, the good eye is back a little bit where he can't pick up things. Maybe now he needs to change his position in the ring, where at least his good eye is in front. Oh, it's been a good one tonight, but one more round to go. Here it is, the final go-round. Wow! One shot and down, Eddie. And now he's going to have to find a way to clinch. He needs time to recover. One, two, three, four, five. Eddie Chambers is Climb back up from the canvas may inspire him. Relax, relax. Oh, and there you go. Well, we know he survived earlier, but now he goes down for a second time. That's it. Unable to rise up and beat the count. A knockout victory. Walk right into that one. Let's make it official. And for that, we send it up to our ring announcer. Liston's knockout ability cannot be underestimated. This fight had everything leaning decision. They were coasting along, then he ended it. Well, this one brings you back to the annals of the sport, the history of the sport. I mean, it makes you think about the great Joe Lewis when he caught Khan late in the fight. Marciano when he caught Walcott late in the fight. Great, great situation here. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Have yourself a great night.